crisis with our young people. Um, you know, they do not know how to de-escalate, and there's so much violence. They, they just don't know how to work through things instead of, you know, killing one another. Beverly Knox Davis, the founder of Brighter Day Outreach, hosted a youth explosion aimed at helping youth learn how to de-escalate issues and communicate effectively. We've had uh, several counselors that are in the building, also some pastors. So there are some churches in the area that they can connect with and as well as those counselors and their resources. And we just connected with someone who is wanting to come back and give laptops and free health insurance and behavioral health. In the last week, a 16 year old was arrested and charged with the double murder of Michael Anthony Brown Jr. and Jerice Ravion Florbert. And there's been a recent string of mass car thefts at local dealerships by juveniles. And across the country, Kia and Hyundai dealers are combating Kia Boys, a social media group of juveniles hot wiring and stealing cars. Emmanuel says he left the outreach event with several tools he can use if he's ever struggling. They talk about how what they personally made mistakes of and if I learn what not to go down and do, I don't have to go through that and I can just look at myself and see I can be I cannot do this and become a better person. During its recurring cops and cars event, Charlotte Mecklenburg police chief Johnny Jennings is hoping that sound <gasps> will curb young people's interest in getting into crime rings. He says the main purpose of the community event is to allow young people to see officers outside of responding to service calls. But to get to know us on a personal level, and, and I've had a chance to talk to a lot of the young people out here today and just to know that you know, associate police with being human beings as well. Steven Rosenberg with the Ferrari Club of North Carolina provided more than 10 cars for the event. He says their biggest goal <laughs> to make everyone feel special. To hear that roar, it is something special. And they're hearing it when they can see it, touch it, and talk about it. And we really encourage the drivers to talk to the kids so they know how they got the car because a common question is, how'd you get that car? Well, we didn't steal it, we worked hard. And I think that's positive for both the drivers and for the teens who are here. Reporting in Charlotte, Shakira Speaks, Queen City News.